Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the D-Rich Show, where we talk anything and everything crypto. Now, here's your host, D-Rich. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the D-Rich Show. This is D-Rich, and today is Monday, September 27th. 2021 how's everybody doing out there i hope that you guys are doing well and that this video finds you all in good health good spirits and good energy uh, welcome back to the channel for you folks that have come aboard uh, over the weekend and uh, my missed day friday thank you so much for those folks who have been here on the journey thank you guys for continued support for uh, the channel here um, so again we're back and um, i apologize for taking a day off but uh Sometimes you got to do what you have to do in order to continue to uh, sustain outside of uh, creating content. But most definitely, I missed you guys. I missed making the videos. Uh, but here we are back again, uh, starting off fresh Monday. Sorry it's for, uh, so late, but uh, most definitely we want to put out something today. Um, but again, I hope you guys have all been well and you all had a wonderful weekend. You were able to do something fun and new and exciting. Um, just uh, to touch base for uh, the listeners out there, I was able to fly back to California briefly. Um, I had a detail um, that I had to go to, and uh, most definitely this is one that I did not want to miss uh, because I don't want to leave, um, you know, my clients uh, hanging. And you know, when you move to another state, sometimes you don't have the opportunity uh, to say goodbye um, and do your uh, respectful. Um, leaving on good terms and good uh, note and um, that's what I was able to do and not only that I was able to actually work with my oldest son um, on an event so I think that it was uh, well worth it and um, that was uh, a great experience as I am trying to get him into uh, the field that I am uh, currently involved with in which is executive protection executive security uh, so again uh, that was uh, some great uh, you know, a great feeling as a parent or father who is able to do some things with his uh, oldest son. So um, anyway, uh, we don't want to waste too much time. We got a short video today, um, but most definitely we want to cover um, some of the things that came out with Ripple um, and the SEC lawsuit and some language that was applied to it um, in regards to a settlement. Um, then we want to touch base on uh, some things that Rosie Rios, um, as we know who she is, uh, make comments on uh, in regards to uh, cryptocurrency as a whole and then you know we want to touch on some of the uh, banning of cryptocurrency in China and then lastly we want to touch base with some of the uh, breaking news out of uh, what Coinbase is doing so without further ado let's get right into it ladies and gentlemen uh, dominance for Bitcoin is 42.6 percent Ethereum 18.5 and the global crypto market cap is down which is 1.89 trillion, which is a 0.82 decrease over the last day, but mostly definitely over the last several days, we've seen a decrease in the market. And then here are some trending tokens, some biggest gainers, and then here are some recently added. So again, we can see 12,178 type of cryptos, um, a little bit much, but you know what, maybe there's gonna be some sort of uh, reduction in that at some point. Exchanges 413 in total. Bitcoin right now is trading at $42,315. Actually, as you can see, the change $42,293.59. Ethereum just under $3,000, $2,945 with some change attached. And Cardano still posted at number three, $2.15. And as we jump to number five, Binance Coin BNB $337 and six cents and then our beloved XRP sitting at 92 cents 92 and a half cents there So again, if you are a uh, XRP investor hodler uh, Member um, and things like that. You want to make sure that you're jumping on these low prices um, Because I'm pretty sure at some point in time uh, the roof is going to blow itself off the top. So uh, get in there, accumulate, acquire as much as you could possibly uh, for. And again, um, I always tell you, this is never financial advice. This is not, uh, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. 
okay but most definitely um, you want to make sure that you have some sort of uh, you want to have some sort of foundation and uh, growth potential because XRP still hasn't reached its all-time high while we're seeing um, other tokens do that and that's posted at number six Solana at number seven hundred and thirty seven dollars nine cents and as we can see USDC a 31 billion dollar market cap there and polka dot twenty seven dollars eighty three cents as is posted at number nine and just at the top ten uh, rounding out the top ten you got uh, dogecoin at twenty cents so again um, if you are a doge holler you get dollar cost average you can get five for a dollar at that price and then you can see some other tokens here as we scroll down uh, the list which is red um, some green here and there but most definitely um, great buying opportunities if you have fiat currency on the side or some uh, profits that you've taken placed on the side and park them uh, most definitely you could go ahead and look at some of these other tokens that you might have had your eye on so again uh, there we go great buying opportunities and uh, never you know lose faith never lose hope because sometimes uh, what they would like to do is drag you through uh, and, you know it's all psychological and they want to drag you through you know um, that warfare so uh, stay strong do your due diligence have faith have confidence continue to look for other opportunities in the market and most definitely you'll come out and see the light at the end of the tunnel so anyway we want to go over this here uh, ripple versus the sec is ripple ceo willing to settle and xrp price hovers below a dollar this was about a day ago published from 11news.com and ripple has been locked in a legal battle with the securities and exchange commission since december of 2020 and when the sec accused ripple labs of creating and selling unregistered securities now you know that uh, Ripple Labs um, or Ripple did not create XRP token. It was actually gifted to them so that uh, this is false right here in the report. And despite being sued by the SEC, Ripple Labs is not treating the matter lightly as in, and has rejected any settlement with the SEC, implying that no out-of-court settlement is in the works. And Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse indicated in an interview with Fox Business on September 24th uh, that the company would be willing to settle with the Securities and Exchange Commission if there is total confidence about XRP. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't think that they will settle, and I think that they're going to take these folks to task. Um, as we know, that there's a lot of uh, you know uh, information that will uh, most definitely uh, be the demise of the SEC once that is revealed, and I think that they don't want this to um, play out. Um, in the public because then the SEC then begins to lose uh, confidence in the public or the public begins to lose confidence in the SEC which we've already seen and we're starting to have all of their connections to corruption being revealed which we talked about on uh, the last video that I posted but here um, to the extent that we can find a constructive path forward with the SEC we of course want to find that and there is no scenario though we when we were going to uh, settle unless there's absolute certainty about what XRP on the go uh, for basis so um, there has to be some sort of clarity um, whether you know they classify it as a security um, or they classify it as a token for cross-border payments as a payment mechanism um, or a currency of such so again um, I don't believe a settlement needs to be had because at the end of the day, um, if you settle with uh, these folks and, and, and you're settling and compromising to com corruption and you're giving them the benefit of the doubt and there's none to be had with them. Garling House emphasized that the XRP ledger is a decentralized open source technology that existed before the company was founded, equating the native coin to oil and gold. So again, here we are, as we see Garling House have, uh, stating um, it's native to coin. Uh, the coin is uh, a native to oil and gold, and I understand that terminology very well uh, because you've heard me say that I do believe XRP is digital gold, which we touched base uh, last week. Uh, despite his best effort, the SEC has failed to prevent the court from comparing XRP and Ethereum. And according to a new 
research by attorney Jeremy Hogan. The plaintiff now appears to be obliged to contend that the only difference between XRP and Ether is because the Ripple Ledger isn't complete. Meanwhile, John Deaton, which is an attorney for the XRP hodlers, has named names in the narrative of an overreaching authority unfairly picking winners and losers in the blockchain company area. So again, they might be doing that just like uh, you know uh, they want to do to make sure that their uh, big investors and big time people are uh, able to benefit from picking those winners and losers. So anyway, um, as we spoke on XRP token, the price is at uh, 92 cents and below the dollar barrier level, the ripple price prediction is currently underselling pressure and the price of uh, XRP has grown dramatically in recent days uh, with prices fluctuating uh, between a dollar 45 and a dollar 50. I don't know where that is because I haven't seen that. However, after hitting a high of dollar 40 on Tuesday, uh, prices dropped quickly and the XRP price prediction is presently trading at 93 uh, cents and any attempt to push it below the channel's lower border might lead to further price declines and a jump below the 80 cent support level. So again, um, you know, here you go. If it does drop to 80, that's a great buying opportunity. And um, I just want you to know that you should be all over that getting ready to um, take advantage. And then here, uh, Ripple helping Bhutan's Royal Monetary Authority RMA with a CBDs project. So I'm going to leave that here. You can continue reading that. Um, and then the former U.S. Treasurer praises XRP while dismissing other cryptocurrencies. And here is Rosie Rios uh, chooses XRP over other cryptocurrencies. But there's a catch. The former U.S. Treasurer Rosie Rios recently typed out some words of praise for XRP's utility. And in her tweet, which we will go to right now um, here on Twitter, so give her a follow. Um, XRP's primary purpose is facilitating cross-border payments, while other cryptos find their value in speculation. And China's latest move brings this point home. So again, listen, I'm not going to uh, give her a pass. Um, because at the end of the day, she supported and uh, gave credit to Gary Gensler, and we've seen how that turned out. So again, I'm not going to give her a free pass at all, because at the end of the day, these folks are corrupt. And I'm not saying that she's corrupt, but I don't want to give her a pass, but I'm surely not going to give her the benefit of the doubt either. Um, so at the end of the day, we um, got to understand uh, that these folks are going to uh, be on the scene for a specific reason. And they're going to be tasked by doing certain things in order for things to be placed or put in place uh, for the next monetary system. And then at the end of the day, they'll probably uh, disappear off the scene, uh, whether some of these corrupt politicians, uh, corrupt money makers or whatnot, they'll be hauled off to uh, prison. That's just me. Um, and I'm only probably speculating. And that's probably something that I would wish for because... At the end of the day, these folks have uh, done more harm than good for uh, retail investors. So I won't go too much um, into it. But uh, again, here's another uh, tweet. I uh, want to clarify that, in my opinion, while Ripple is committed to the cross-border use case, developers globally every day are pursuing other use cases, including store of value, medium of exchange, etc., for multiple blockchains and cryptos. So again... Uh, this was three hours ago. This was September 26th, so she had to come back and walk back those words um, because, you know what, she knows that she's uh, overstepping her boundaries when trying to just say XRP is the end-all, be-all. Now, in my opinion, yes, it will move all of the money, but there's going to be other utility tokens, uh, crypto assets or, you know, tokens of media fund exchange. Um, you know, you've probably heard me say Dogecoin would be used for that purpose of medium of exchange for like tipping um, and things like that as that mechanism. Um, there's also um, Intercoin that's going to be used for that. You can look at Holochain and some of those others that could be potentially be used to incentivize the blockchain for that type of purpose. So anyway, China says that all cryptocurrency related transactions are illegal and must be banned. And this was uh, September 24th. 
And the reason why we want to go over it is because China is uh, going back and forth, back and forth uh, with all of these banning and not banning and things like that. So um, who's to say what's what? But again, um, it's probably to shake up the market to get people out of their uh, positions. And this is what they do. They like to uh, say this, and this is probably a big reason why we're seeing a lot of red in the market. And again, Central Bank of China said on Friday that the uh, all cryptocurrency related transactions are illegal in the country and that they must be banned, citing concerns around national security and safety of people's assets. So again, uh, they want to say it's safety for the people's assets. So again, uh, they don't want you in it because at the end of the day, it's decentralized and they have no control over it. So they want to continue to manipulate the market. The world's most populated nation also said that the foreign exchanges are banned from providing services to users in the country, which we'll talk about here shortly, um, which was an article that was just released. In a joint statement, 10 Chinese government agencies vowed to work closely to maintain high pressure crackdown on trading of cryptocurrencies in the nation. And the People Bank of China separately ordered internet, financial and payment companies from facilitating cryptocurrencies traders on their platforms. So now, you know, you have uh, the corrupt uh, people in China uh, doing their work to the people of China, the we the people of China. Now, not all of China is bad because at the end of the day, those folks are some probably good folks and good people that want freedom, just like we want freedom here in the United States. All over the globe, people want freedom um, and they don't want to have to deal with tyranny. They don't want to have to deal with, uh, you know, monetary policies uh, that, uh, you know, either hurt or damage the retail investor. Um, because at the end of the day, we want to have, you know, a sustainable life. And we all have a lot of things in common, which number one um, is, first of all, I'm going to say children. Um, but second of all, you know, whether, uh, you know, whatever side you're on, uh, you all, we all have, you know, the want and the desire to take care of our families, take care of our basic necessities and needs, you know, putting food on the table, making sure that we have, you know, uh, transportation, uh, things like that, and just basic needs for all of us. And we all have that in common, and we all want that financial freedom, and I do believe uh, that is coming soon. So again, the people of China uh, will be waking up as well. So again, um, you know, not everything China is bad, so I'm not going to, you know, bash China, but, you know, there are some uh, things that are going on over there where communism and socialism is uh, taking root and uh, destroying people's lives. So anyway, let's move forward. This is coming from PetFire.com. Cryptocurrency exchanges start cutting off uh, Chinese users, and this is an article today, um, September 27th. And the most important market trends, excuse me, let's go ahead and move past that, sorry. Cryptocurrency exchanges have begun cutting links with customers in China after Beijing declared more activities related to digital coins, which is or they say are illegal last week, and it's slated to broadside against the virtual currency industry. Hubi, one of the world's biggest crypto exchanges, announced it will remove Chinese users by the end of the year, while Binance, Another large platform was no longer accepting user signups with Chinese phone numbers. China has historically been a significant market for the crypto investment and development, as well as global hotspot for Bitcoin mining, uh, which is a computational process that creates new units of the digital currency. Um, but Chinese authorities have embarked on a sweeping crackdown on the crypto industry in recent months, pushing Parts of the domestic industry offshore as regulators have increased pressure on a range of sectors including tech, education, gaming, and real estate. Hmm. Do you see that here? Tech, education, gaming, and real estate. Now those are some of, uh, you know, some high, uh, you know, vet investment opportunities. Gaming is huge. Real estate is most definitely huge. Tech is always going to be huge in education, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, education, to me, can go in many different ways, whether you're traditional education, 
uh, when you go to school pay for it. I don't necessarily believe in the education systems uh, based on it's a money laundering scheme. And uh, you know, it puts people here in the United States in debt. And uh, most definitely um, they have you take out these loans. And then at the end of the day, when you do graduate and you get your degrees, uh, you're not even able to get a job in that particular field that you graduated from. So um, again, um, this is huge right here um, because the education uh, moving forward is going to be based on technology, based on blockchain. And if you've heard me, uh, you know, I wish and hope that one day there's an opportunity for me to get a job doing uh, some of these things in the crypto space um, and be able to be some sort of educator, teacher um, of some sort. So um, again, um, Ch China's cracking down and um, you know what? The United States is probably gonna follow suit and other countries are probably gonna follow suit. And uh, those folks who are waking up to cryptocurrency and have profited off of cryptocurrency, they're gonna start to see um, that the fiat currency is no longer needed um, and cryptocurrency is a must uh, for them to uh, make sure that they have in their portfolios. So lastly, um, Coinbase introduces Paycheck Deposit in the US and this was released about an hour ago. Users will soon be able to fund, to fund their account through the employer's direct deposit. And here are some key takeaways. Coinbase will allow users based in the United States to fund their accounts by depositing their paycheck. And users will be able to receive their paychecks as a dollar balance or translate it into cryptocurrency instantly. And the feature will, the feature will be made available in the coming weeks. And Coinbase announced that it will allow U.S. customers to deposit paychecks in the near future. I'm going to let the rest ride here for you all to read. But I think that's uh, real huge and it's a big deal. Even though I don't like Coinbase, I think this is huge and it sets the tone uh, for future exchanges to do so. And not only that, um, if you are um, working, what I would uh, imagine happening is that you're gonna be able to go to uh, work for the day and then ask your employer to give you a deposit that day and that's how faster payments are going to work. Where you go to work, you get paid for it because sometimes uh, living paycheck to paycheck is difficult. Um, it's hard, um, but most definitely if you're getting, uh, you know, hundreds of dollars per day, depending on what you do um, immediately, um, I think that is going to benefit a lot of people. Um, and then uh, most definitely it could hurt a lot of people because, you know, there's no financial literacy or education that's being implemented. Um, but I do believe uh, cryptocurrency allows people to um, learn and grow um, educationally as far as that's concerned. So what I would say is uh, most definitely um, pay attention to that. So um, most definitely you'll be getting paid out from your work as you can see like uh, DoorDash, Uber, Lyft. If you want instant payment, you can set that up for a small fee. And I do believe that that's coming. So you know, good kudos for Coinbase for doing that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I hope I didn't ramble too much, but most definitely wanted to cover some basic news. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back to present some more information uh, with another video. And um, have a great evening. Have a great day, wherever you may be. God bless. Take care. And as always, treat everyone with class, dignity, and respect. Bye-bye.